Welcome back Data Sharks. In this lesson, we'll see how we can overwrite an existing table in Hadoop. Often you will have to run same table load multiple times. It may be because of some error or you just have a new data coming in and you just want to dump everything okay, into an existing table or you just forget to delete the destination directory from SDFS before running your command. So in that case, the scoop command will fail. So to avoid that kind of scenarios, uh, Scoop provides a directory called delete target directory that you need to specify with your target directory parameter. And what it will do is it will first delete the existing directory from SDFS and then start the load process. So before I try this, let me show you what will happen if I don't delete the existing directory and run the same command from the previous exercise. So let me bring the terminal here. So let me just copy paste one of the previous commands. Here I'm trying to read the data from employees table in my SQL and uh, saving it into employees to mappers directory on scoop in SDFS side. It's the same command we tried before. So let me just run one of the previous commands. So here again, I'm just trying to import the data in one of the existing scoop directory. This directory we created in one of the previous exercise. So what will happen when I run the same without cleaning the existing data? So scoop is saying that file already exists. So output directory so and so already exists. So it will fail the process. So to avoid this kind of scenarios, we should either use the incremental loading, which we will learn later in this course, or we can delete the existing data and run the command. So let me try with the delete first in this lesson so let's run scoop import again okay remember we did not delete the uh, existing employees to mapper directory yet okay i'm gonna do it as part of this command so our connection string which will be jdbc mysql sandbox scoop scoop is our source database on mysql side and the username for mysql is the root password and the table that is in the our input table will be employees so the basic terminology in in big data for the source tables is either we call it source table or input table so either one of them you will find me using so don't get confused target directory so again target directory allows you to specify the output table name so i'm gonna use same table name and delete target directory there is no value need to be provided for this delete target directory directive we just press enter here let's see what happens no columns to generate okay so this error if you see this kind of error no columns to generate for class writer it means your source table on the MySQL site does not have any primary key. So in this kind of scenarios, you need to specify number of map ports. Okay. So let me just do that M equal to one for now. It will fail again. It's actually failing for two reasons. One is because there is no primary key. And the second one, we did not specify the driver for this command. Okay. So I need to specify driver. Let me the driver here. Okay. 
this will be driver com dot mysql dot jdbc driver and minus hyphen m one now it should work okay yeah it's working now it's uh, starting the import all right so number of splitter is one because mapper is set to one so here you can see that it deleted the existing directory from SDFS, okay? And then it started the import. So this is because of the delete target directory parameter that we passed in, okay? So again, 1000 records are imported and we can quickly take a look. Alright, so this is imported just now and we can see the content. Earlier it had two files, remember, uh, because the mapper was set to two, but in this exercise I explicitly set it to one. So that's why we have one file and that's uh, the way to prove that uh, the directory was deleted and also the data was deleted and it was imported again. So be careful with this particular parameter because if you have it in your command, it will also delete the data, not just the directory. So if you just want to do a delta refresh, meaning that you had 100 records before, now you only want to import 20 more records and append it to the existing data set, then this command is not for you. And we will learn in later sessions how to deal with those kind of scenarios okay so try this out in your own computer and let me know if you have any issues thank you